for Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And now I've been asked, you guys saw my uh, GLP-1 uh, peptide one, and now I'm going to do an Adderall slash, what is it called, amphetamine salts. That is the... Uh, that is the generic name for Adderall or Ritalin and Fetamine salts. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of already knew this one because that's been around for a fair amount of time and a lot of kiddos are on it. And of course, I always treated kids and teens a lot more than I did adults, so I was more familiar with the kids stuff. But um, I mean, right off the bat, I can tell you dry mouth, um, bruxism, usually poor oral hygiene just goes with it. Um, those are the main kickers. Just but from what I, so I did my search, okay? So if you wanna know how to search for stuff like this, all you have to do is put a couple words in Google. It's really easy. So the words you're gonna put in are, what happened? You're gonna put in, I would put in Adderall, you know, just cause it's a brand name. I don't know that most people know what an amphetamine salt is. So Adderall, make sure you spell it right, comma, um, orthodontic tooth movement, comma, scholar. And boom, all the literature comes up. So I clicked through the literature, pretty much didn't see anything on tooth movement. Um, you know, and there actually has been studies done on tooth movement, not just in rats and stuff like that. A um, lot of stuff on dry mouth, a um, lot of stuff on hygiene, a lot of stuff on bruxism. So um, yeah, I mean, and, and you know, carries do tooth decay, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So orthodontic implications for someone like this, I mean, they got to, I mean, I would prefer a removables over fixed. And as, assuming they're compliant with their medication, they should be able to be responsible to keep their removables in. I think it would be better. That's just kind of my opinion. All right. Thanks.